Hey there, welcome to a new mobility video. Today we will target the knees. So the knees are usually seen or described as a hinge joint. So it means they are moving more just like a hinge, like flexion and extension. But the knee is a little bit more complex. It also has the ability to rotate a little bit. Not as much as the hip, but it has the ability to do so. And a lot of us use the knee only in flexion and extension and never really with rotation. So that means if then there is a situation where you all of a sudden need the rotation in the knee, then the tissue is not prepared to take the load and oftentimes you get injured. So for example, you're stepping wrong as you're walking or hiking or in a yoga pose or any other movement practice, you're moving in maybe a new way that's a little bit different and so the load that's put on the tissue exceeds the load the, that the tissue can actually handle and so this is usually due to not enough range of motion in the knee when it comes to rotation and so just like the hip you can internally and externally rotate with the knee but of course not as much as the hip joint can do today we will focus on internal rotation of the knee and so specifically internally rotating the tibia and that rotation then comes here from the knee and you can also externally rotate. There's four mobility videos we're putting out. Soon one for flexion, one for extension and then today internal rotation and the other one is external rotation. All you need for today is maybe a pillow or a towel to sit on. We will do everything seated and if you have done the other mobility videos you know it is basically a joint strength training. So we will put in some work today but I again remind you as always to listen to your body and especially if you're new to a mobility practice like this one today especially with the knees just take it a little bit easier for your first round and then once you know the sensations and how strong you can go then you can increase. But super important stuff, really beneficial to do. And we'll begin again with cars, controlled articular rotations for the knee. And then we will continue with two sets for each knee for internal rotation of the knee joint. When you're ready, find something to sit on and we'll get started with the cars, controlled articular rotations. I like to just bend one leg a lot and then you hug with your left, le left arm, the left thigh into your chest. You grab your own biceps, you with your right hand, the free hand, you grab the knee. Then you dorsiflex the, the ankle so the toes are pointing up towards the knee. You externally rotate as much as you can, try to make that rotation come from the knee. Keep that external rotation, start to straighten the leg. Then you internally rotate, bend the leg. Externally rotate, straighten. Internally rotate, bend. Externally rotate, straighten. Internally rotate and bend. Very good. That's already the warm up using the cars. Now we'll put the heel down and we Kind of, I like to kind of uh, hold the knee from the side. You internally rotate the tibia. That also means that the ankle is also moving as well, but that's all good. So you're moving to the maximum internal rotation. Then you hold with your right hand the foot on the pinky toe side. And with your left hand, you just keep it on the outside of your knee. And you're not pushing, you're not pulling, you're just finding your end range and we stay there for about two minutes. While we do so, we slow down the breath. And the purpose of this is to really open up the, the range of motion here that we can access passively. And then with the upcoming two sets of Pales Rails, these are the techniques based on the functional range systems. PALES stands for Progressive Angular Isometric Loading and RAILS stands for Regressive Angular Isometric Loading. And those techniques 
are helping you to increase your range of motion, to open up new range of motion. And then this is only the first step, then there's also many more techniques that are following to not just open up range of motion, but to also then be able to actively control that range of motion. But today it's all about creating new range of motion. Now I said range of motion many times. So again, just holding the hand there, but you're not pulling yourself deeper into it. One example is that with with the things that can happen where the load uh, exceeds the, the load bearing capacity of the tissue. If you don't have any rotation in the knee, you can tear some kind of tendon. And very common are like ACL tears or so. Often when you're, for example, snowboarding, doing winter sports, and all of a sudden you have to your, your body is coming into this rotation in the knee, whatever it's causing, and you're not prepared for it, then you probably get injured. And so having range of motion, especially range of motion you can actively control, is just keeping you so much uh, healthier and stronger and preventing a lot of injuries. Okay, that's about two minutes. Let's start to use paled rails, the techniques. You use your right hand to now block and lock in the foot. And then you're trying to externally rotate, so rotate to the left with the ankle and also with the tibia, meaning external rotation in the knee. Let's go 20%, 40%, 60%, 70%. percent. your safest, greatest effort. Hold it there. Keep driving the ankle and the tibia to the left, externally rotate for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, now internally rotate. So now you're trying to internally rotate the tibia and also the ankle. So the rotation should not come from the ankle, but from the knee. Really, really important. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, hold the foot, stay there, relax. We'll do one more set. One more set of pales rails. You can do up to four sets, but just to not make this video one hour, I'll just show you two because there's so much to explain. Now take a slow breath in. Nice and slow, even slower exhale. Four seconds inhale. Eight seconds exhale. When you're ready, let's continue. Otherwise, pause the video and stay here longer and take those four seconds in and eight second out breaths. Let's again lock the foot kind of support the knee here, start to externally rotate the knee, pales contraction, 20% effort, 40%, 60%, 80%, your safest, greatest effort. For the last 10, nine, it really externally rotate the knee, so it should be a lot of strength, although nothing is moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, and the opposite, rails contraction, internally rotate. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one relax slowly come out of it beautiful work and again two sets i would recommend minimum maximum i suggest four sets so if you want you can do two more let's shake out the legs a little bit and let's do the other side
Let's start with controlled articular rotations on the right leg, the right knee. Hug the thigh in, grab the biceps, grab the knee, externally rotate, straighten the right leg, internally rotate, bend. Externally rotate, straighten, internally rotate, bend. One more, externally rotate, straighten, internally rotate, bend. Very good, set the heel down, support the knee, internally rotate the knee and the tibia and then kind of hold the foot hold uh, the foot with your hand and let's stay there for about two minutes so you can do those pails rails techniques or all the functional range conditioning exercises uh, to not only open up the range of motion, but also work on controlling that new range of motion or new end range. I usually uh, do my best to work on every joint once a week with those techniques. Several sets of pails rails and also other techniques to control the range. We will share more once we have basically shared all the uh, pails rails for every single joint, then we'll share some more how to actually control that end range or the new range of motion. Okay, so now should be a little bit faster since we now already did the first side, so there's less to explain. But first we're doing a pales contraction, so we're trying to externally rotate, but the hand is stopping it. And then we are relaxing briefly and then internally rotate and there's not much movement happening and if you're just watching and not following along then it seems like i'm just sitting there holding my leg but internally i am and hopefully you are as well working very hard like i said strength training for for the joints and you will most likely um, feel it tomorrow and the day after in a very interesting way in your knee capsule. All right, that's two minutes of a hold. Now you lock the foot, support the knee, and start to do a pales contraction. So externally rotate 20%, 40%, 60%, 70%, 80%. And 100% your safest, greatest effort for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax, rails contraction, internally rotate. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stay there, relax. Fill out that new end range you just opened up, potentially. Four seconds inhale. Eight seconds exhale. Four seconds inhale. Eight seconds exhale. Very good. Once you feel a little bit more relaxed and good, because this is intense for the nervous system as well, then we can continue with the second set. Support the knee, lock the foot, and start your pales contraction. Externally rotate. 20%, 40%. 60%, 80 and 100%, your safest, greatest effort. Keep squeezing to the right, into the hand. The hand is blocking all of it. Hold for 10, 9, try to fight for more space. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax and internally rotate. Now you can release the hand because it's always internal strength. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, find for, fight for more space, two, one, relax. Very good. Slowly release, shake out the legs. Beautiful work. So again, you can do this several times a week if you want. I recommend to do at least once a week, work on the knees. Today we did internal rotation of the knee joint. You might feel some soreness in your knees tomorrow, the day after, it's totally fine. It's coming from the knee capsule, so it will feel very different. Enjoy, be proud of yourself for doing all the work and then come back to this video in a couple of days or next week if you want to. Super, super important to keep the knees safe. They are such a sensitive joint because we're sitting so much, we're moving in wrong ways, we're walking in wrong ways and just so many things cause so much trouble for the knee, but once the knee is in pain, it's, it's just no good and it's very sad. And let's just not get to that point, so put in the work now so that you can prevent anything from happening and just stay safe. Thanks for following along today. I'll see you in the next one.